Um, which of the following is the most appropriate diagnostic test to evaluate for possible fetal cardiac anomalies? Amniocentesis, chorionic villus sampling, fetal echocardiography, fetal karyotyping, and maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. A 32-year-old pregnant woman with a history of bipolar visits her obstetrician for a routine prenatal checkup. She's been taking lithium. Saw that coming for the past three years to manage mm. her. And the physician counsels her on the potential teratogenic effects of lithium, which is Epstein's anomaly. But, um, I mean, the only way out of this, like, serum alpha fetoprotein is not going to show you Epstein's anomaly. Neither will karyotyping because it's not going to be a chromosomal abnormality. Chorionic villus sampling just makes me think of a molar pregnancy. I'm, I think it's fetal echocardiography, although I've never heard of that before. So, I mean, I know what an echocardiography is, but. Yeah, for sure. So Epstein's anomaly, right? And so ultrasound is just practically an ultrasound, right? Um, technique that's able to look at the heart of the fetus. That's practically what it is, right? So you always keep it simple in a sense that, okay, how do I want to check the heart? Okay, let's get an ultrasound of the kid's heart, right? And that's going to show you um, Epstein, uh, Epstein anomaly, right? So yeah, perfect. You worked through that great.